welcome back to Med Survival Medical Mnemonics, where we make medicine simple and memorable. In today's video, we're discussing the antibiotics used to treat MRSA, focusing on their classification, indications, and key drug interactions. To make it easy to remember, we'll use this mnemonic. Quite valid MRSA cover can definitely treat skinny Todd. Let's break it down. The mnemonic organizes the antibiotics for MRSA treatment into three parts. One, quite, covers two antibiotics which are broad spectrum and often used for resistant MRSA. Two, valid MRSA cover. This part covers four antibiotics which are primarily IV antibiotics with some being first line options for MRSA. Three, can definitely treat skinny Todd covers seven more antibiotics. These are often used for skin infections caused by MRSA. Let's dive into each section. First, we have quite. Quite stands for quinupristin dalfopristin. Letter T stands for tigacycline. Here's what you need to know. Quinupristin dalfopristin is broad spectrum and used for resistant MRSA. It interacts with P450 substrates, so avoid combining it with drugs like statins. Tigacycline is another broad spectrum option. It has significant drug and interaction with warfarin. Next is valid MRSA cover. Va is for vancomycin. Li is for linezolid. Letter D is for daptomycin. Letter C is for ceftaroline. Key points. Vancomycin is a first-line agent for MRSA, administered IV. Monitor drug levels to avoid toxicity. Avoid combining it with aminoglycosides or NSAIDs due to nephrotoxicity risks. Linezolid is also first line for MRSA. Its oral form makes it a great option for transitioning from IV therapy. Watch for serotonin syndrome with SSRIs, SNRIs, or MAOIs, and monitor platelets to avoid thrombocytopenia. Daptomycin is used for MRSA and VRE, but should not be used for pneumonia because it's inactivated by surfactant. Avoid statins to reduce the risk of myopathy. Ceftaroline is a fifth-generation cephalosporin effective against MRSA and gram-negative bacilli, limited coverage. Watch for allergies, but note it has minimal drug interactions. Lastly, we have can definitely treat skinny Todd. These include antibiotics often used for skin infections caused by MRSA. Letter C is for clindamycin. Letter D is for delafloxacin. Letter T of TREAT is for trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, TMP-SMX. Now, what TOD stands for? Letter T is for televancin. Letter O is for oritavancin. Letter D is for dalbavancin. Letter D is for doxycycline. Here's what to watch out for. Clindamycin, high risk of C, difficile infection. Avoid combining it with neuromuscular blockers. Dilafloxacin a fluoroquinolone with broad gram-negative bacilli and anaerobic coverage. It prolongs the QT interval, so avoid combining with QT-prolonging drugs. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. It can cause hyperkalemia if combined with ACE inhibitors, ARBs, or potassium-sparing diuretics. Watch for Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Televancin. Avoid nephrotoxic agents and anticoagulants. Can falsely elevate PTINR values. Be cautious with anticoagulants. Dalbavancin, minimal drug interactions, making it a safer choice. Doxycycline, avoid antacids or iron supplements as they reduce absorption. Now, let's discuss the spectrum of anti-MRSA antibiotics, column by column, using this chart for clarity. All MRSA antibiotics cover MSA and streptococcus, except TMPSMX and doxycycline, which have limited streptococcus coverage. For Enterococcus faecalis and VRE, Tigacycline, Linezolid, and Daptomycin cover both. Vancomycin covers E. faecalis, but not VRE. Enterococcus faecium is covered by Quinupristin, Dalfopristin, Tigacycline, Linezolid, and Daptomycin. Gram-negative bacilli, GNB. Tigacycline and Delafloxacin provide broad coverage. Ceftaroline, TMP-SMX, and doxycycline provide limited coverage. For anaerobes, tigacycline, delafloxacin, doxycycline, and clindamycin are effective. To summarize, understanding the spectrum of these antibiotics is crucial for effectively treating MRSA infections. Always consider the site of infection and organism susceptibility when choosing therapy. 
If this breakdown helped clarify anti-MRSA antibiotics and their spectrum, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Med Survival Medical Mnemonics. Now, here's a question for you. Which of these antibiotics cover both MRSA and ESBL? Let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video.